Everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve DirectX issues you might have if you've upgraded to Windows 10. So DirectX, basically a collection of different APIs that relate to video games, video displays and whatnot, and it will handle a lot of these applications on Windows devices. This is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys and we're going to just jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser here. I'm just going to open up Chrome. And we want to navigate over to Google, or if you already have the Google search built into the Google Chrome, we're going to type in DirectX download. And the best match should be a Microsoft domain. So you want to left click on what says download DirectX end user runtime web installer. Well, at least at the time of this recording. So we're going to left click on that. So for select language, make sure you select the right language. Under system requirements, keep in mind anything newer than Windows XP Service Pack 2 should be supported for this. So at the time of this recording, so we're going to download it. I'm going to uncheck this MSN default homepage and Bing default search engine option that's bundled with this installer. You can keep them checked, you can keep one checked, both checked, neither checked, it doesn't really matter for what we're doing in this video. But we're going to select no thanks and continue. Should be a pretty small download, so once it's finished you want to just open it up like you would any other program that you're downloading from the internet. So user account control window, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We can see it's a verified publisher, Microsoft Corporation. You want to check for that before you run this. So you want to select yes to proceed for installing Microsoft DirectX. The DirectX setup wizard guides you through installation of DirectX runtime components. Please read the following license agreement. Press page down key to see the rest of the agreement. You must accept the agreement to continue the setup. I would suggest you read the end user license agreement before you select I accept. But since we've already looked through it, we're going to select that and click on next. We're going to deselect install the Bing bar, unless of course you wanted that. But for exactly what we're doing in this video, we're not going to be installing the Bing bar. It doesn't really apply to what we're doing. So I'm going to unselect that and then click on next. And this should be pretty quick, shouldn't take very long. Just be patient. Okay, so this says the installation is complete and the components were installed and ready for use. Click on finish. 
Now, as a good rule of thumb, I'd recommend restarting your computer before you run any applications to see if it takes effect, but hopefully it should work and resolve any DirectX issues you guys are having. So as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.